Okay, good morning grade 2s and grade 3. So today we are going to learn about science, okay? So um, before we start our lesson, I'd like to ask what is science? Does anybody know what is science? Okay, so today we are going to start by spelling the word science, okay? Follow after me. Okay, science starts with the letter S, then... C, then I, followed by E, then N, C, E. Okay? So everybody spell with me the word science. S, C, I, E, N, C, E. Okay? One more time. S, C, I, E. E N C E. Now I want you to close your eyes and spell the word science. Ready? Go. S C I E N C E. Now one more time, close your eyes without me telling you the letters. Ready? Go. Good job. So that is how you spell the word science. Everybody say science. Science. Okay. So in science, what do we learn in science? First in science is we learn new things. Okay. We learn so many new things in science. Like, for example, how does uh, the part of our body work? Or maybe um, um, like everything that is going on around us so we learn many new things when we study science number two is when we learn science we learn to invent new things okay so because of science we get to know the function how things work and because we know them we get to invent new things like for example your phones before you only have like your mom and dad have phones that use only the keypad so they just have to press the letters but now it's different you have touch screen cell phones so in science we learn to invent new things and also if we have experiments then we learn new things next is because of science we explore the unknown okay so many times there are things that people don't know but because of science they can explore a lot of things that we don't know yet okay so in science we have people who are expert in studying science do you know what they are called they are called the scientists very good they are called the scientists so these people are expert in science and they learn new things and do inventions and discover many things around us okay so there are many branches of science okay many branches of science like a tree a tree has many branch but one trunk so just like science it has many branches for example we only try to learn some of them okay so number one we have biology everybody say biology say it again biology okay so biology it is the study of all the living things okay all the living things everything that have life around you it is called biology and people or scientists that study biology we call them biologists everybody say biologist good job so next is another scientist is we call the study of science another one is botany everybody say botany botany okay so botany is the study of plants there are many plants around us and the study of plants we call them botany and the people 
or the scientists that study botany, we call them botanist. Okay, everybody say botanist. Good job. Next, we have number three, we have the branch of science is zoology. Zoology, okay? Now, when you see the word zoo, it means what? Yes, it means animals, okay? People, I mean animals. So the study of animal, we call it zoology. And the people or the scientists who study about zoology, we call them zoologists. Okay, let's say it again. Zoology. Zoologist. Okay, next one, we have chemistry. Okay, chemistry is the science um, where they, the study of composition and structure of all matters. Okay, like this is where we study the solid, liquid, and gas in chemistry. Okay, and people or the scientists who study about chemistry, we call them chemists. Okay, let's say it again. Chemistry. Chemist. Good job. Next is we have geology. Everybody say geology. Geology is the study of the rocks. Okay, so the earth has a lot of rocks and the study of rocks is we call geology. And the scientists who study about geology are called geologist okay everybody say geology geologist good job next is we have meteorology oh it's kind of difficult to pronounce everybody say meteor meteorology okay so meteorology is the study of weather when sometimes it's hot sometimes it's cold <coughs> sunny or windy they are the ones who study the weather the meteorologist okay everybody say meteorology the next one is meteorologist good job next we have this one is kind of interesting the study of astronomy astronomy is the study of the heavenly bodies the heavenly bodies are the stars, the sun, and everything um, that are part of the heavenly bodies are called astronomy, okay? And people who study astronomy, we call them astronomer, okay? So everybody say astronomy. Astronomer. Okay, very good. So next is after studying, these are only some of the branches of science. So today, we are going to study about the science process, okay? What are the different kinds of science process, okay? Scientists are the ones who help us solve problems. They don't just solve problems easily. They have to follow different kinds of steps, okay? So today, we're going to study the first three steps in solving problems, okay? So the first one we have is observing. What do we do when we observe things, okay? Now, let's do some examples. Okay, so when we observe things, we try to use our five senses, okay? What are the five senses? Who knows? Okay, so let's start with um, sense of sight. What do we use for sense of sight? We use our ears. Oh, oh, teacher is wrong. It is eyes. Very good. What do we use for um sense of smell yes we use our nose very good and what about sense of hearing what do we use for sense of hearing yes we use our ears next is sense of touch what do we use we use our hands okay and for sense of taste what do we use we use our t 
Uh-huh. Very good. So that is in observing. When we observe something, we use our five senses. Okay, let's look for examples. For example, this flower. Okay, this flower is not a real one. What is the color of this flower? White. Very good. What did you use? What sense did you use to find out that the color is white? You use your sense of sight because you use your eyes. Okay, next. What about this? When we try to knock it, we know that it is hard very good it is hard and what did what sense did we use our sense of touch okay what about if we have a salt what is the taste of the salt salty very good we use our sense of taste what about sugar sweet because we use our tongue or a sense of taste what about if we listen to YouTube and the volume is 40? What is the volume? What do you observe? It is very loud. Very good. You use your sense of hearing or you use your ears. Very good. What about if your mom is cooking something delicious? How do you know that the food is delicious right you use your tongue hmm? tongue to taste correct and you also use your nose to smell what your mom is cooking right so that is observing so number one in science process we do observing by using our five senses okay number two number two is describing after we try to observe we try to describe the things that we saw like for example i give you example number one this is a what pillow okay so pillow you already observe everything you use your eyes your hands your senses, you use your senses to observe the pillow. Now it's time to describe the pillow. The pillow is, when you use your hand, the pillow is soft. Very good. So use your hand. Now, if you look at this pillow in the picture, what is the color? It is white. So we use our sense of sight. Now, if your mom and dad has just finished washing it, what is the smell? Smell good and use your tense of smell. Okay? So, after you observe, you describe what you see. Number three. Number three is comparing. So, after you observe, you describe it and now you try to compare it. For example, we have here two balls, okay? They are both balls, okay? And they are both beach balls. But the difference is this ball is small and that small that ball is big, okay? But they are both balls. What is the shape? They are both circle, okay? But their size is different next is we have these two boys okay these two boys this boy is tall this boy is short this boy is fat and this boy is thin what is the similarity what is the same they both have glasses and they both have yellow hair so that is comparing okay so number one we do is observing we use our five senses number two we do is describing we describe what we observe and number three is we compare 
okay? We compare the two or more things that we see around us. That is the first three process in solving problems in science, okay? So today, after you finish this video, you have to answer your book with the pages that I will tell you to do. And next week, we are going to finish the other process in solving problem in science, okay? Have a nice day. Thank you.